Hello and welcome back to Drupal and Panels. We've just seen how to create several different versions of the same page by using variants in Page Manager. And now we'll walk through an alternate way to create variants. We have here the home page of our website, which is showing a two column layout. We've got an article on the right and some additional things like a search box and a who's online listing on the left. If we're logged out on the left hand side instead, you'd see an advertisement. What we want to do is we'll create a copy of this variant that instead of having two columns, we'll have three columns so we can show the advertisement, the search box, and the who's online listing all at the same time. We're going to start by editing our existing panel pane by clicking the Edit Panel link at the top right. And this will drop us right into the content section of the Page Manager interface. From here, we can see that we have one variant for our panel named Panel. So as usual, we'll start by renaming this variant to something that more closely matches what it's actually going to be. This two-column layout is going to be our anonymous variant. So we'll go ahead and click the General tab to change the name of this variant to anonymous. We're going to go ahead and update and save and confirm that the name of that variant became anonymous. Now, you'll notice if you're editing any part of an existing variant, on the right-hand side we have a set of variant operation links. These will allow us to do stuff like delete variants, export variants, which we'll get to later on, and in this case, clone variants. So we're going to start here by clicking clone, and this will basically create a copy of this existing variant. The first thing it'll ask for is a new name. We already have a variant called anonymous. This is going to be the variant for authenticated. By clicking update and save, it creates an exact copy of the anonymous variant with a new name authenticated. So you can see from looking at the settings here that we have the Drupal blocks and regions disabled, and we've chosen the in-place editor renderer. If we check out the content, you'll also notice that we have a two-column layout with all of our content already in place. If you have a really complicated panel with a lot of stuff laid out in a very specific way in one variant, and you want to create a second variant that's very similar, it's often much faster to clone an existing variant than to create a new one using the wizard. In this case, we've got a couple of changes to make to our authenticated variant to differentiate it from the anonymous one. The first and most important is to change the layout. If you click the layout link on the left, you'll be able to choose from a new, new set of layouts. We're going to go to this drop down menu and grab three columns. We're going to choose a three column layout instead of two and click continue. Panels has a very clever way of figuring out which content was in which region previously and asks you where you'd like to move it into your new layout. In this case, we're going to take the custom right side content and drop it into the middle column because we know that'll be our article. We're going to click update and save. And when we go back to the content display, you'll see that our article is now in the center column, our search form is in the left, the who's online is in the left, we can grab that ad from the left hand side and drag it to the right. If we update and save this, you'll see that was a lot faster than adding all of those pieces of content all over again. But because this is a copy of our previous anonymous variant, there's some settings associated with each of these content paints that we need to worry about. For example, this advertisement has some settings on it for visibility rules that make it only visible if the user is anonymous. If we'd like this ad to show up for our authenticated users, we're going to need to remove that rule. To remove a visibility rule, you click on it in the drop down and you click the button at the bottom that says remove. Now our ad will be able to display for users who are logged in. We'll go ahead and update and save this content, but there's also a couple of other changes we need to make before our panel's ready. We also need to apply some selection rules. This will help panels decide when this variant should be displayed. We're going to add one here for user role. And we want this variant to display when the user is logged in. So that's when the user, looking at the page, is authenticated. We're going to go ahead and update and save that change. And now we also need to make sure we get these variants in the correct order. Right now, if someone were to visit our homepage, they would always see the anonymous homepage because the anonymous variant has no selection rules. And that means that this test for selection criteria will always pass and the anonymous version of the page will always be shown. Drupal or panels will never look for that authenticated variant. 
We need to reorder these to get the authenticated variant to happen first. So we do that by clicking this reorder variants link at the top right. Now we can grab the authenticated variant, move it above authenticated, anonymous, and update and save. So now on the left hand side we can see our authenticated variant comes first. It has a selection criteria, so users who are logged in will be able to see this page. And if a user who's not logged in tries to look at this page, it'll fall through to the anonymous variant where there are no selection criteria. We can confirm that the anonymous variant still has a two column layout with all of our original content in it, and the authenticated variant now has a three column layout. So let's check on this and make sure it's working. We're logged in, we're authenticated. Let's go look at the home page, and we'll expect to see an advertisement in the right hand column. And there it is. It's also important to test our logged out version of this page, or unauthenticated, so we're going to log out and expect to see that advertisement on the left hand side. Beautiful. So now you've seen two different ways to create different variants for your panels. Stay tuned so you can see all the great things you can do for panels with your content.